This homeowner tells me he had a few missed phone calls. Finally picking up his phone when it rang for a fourth time, he was surprised to learn the man on the other line was the same man who burst into his home calling to apologize. It all started with a simple knock on the door of this Boynton Beach home. And the guy was standing right there. He gave the knock, opened up the door, like, he was going on. Chris Bates says he recognized the man from the neighborhood, but had no idea what was about to happen. Opened up the guy, thinking everything's cool, and then two other guys rushed me, tried to rush me in the house. In an instant, Bates says he was outnumbered three on one with a barrel of a gun dug into his chest. Grabbed it like this here and kind of rushed him up against the door here. I'm trying to fight off the two bigger guys. As Bates fought with the two men, police say this man, Cleveland Smith, ran inside the home and grabbed Bates' gun from inside, hitting him on the head on the way out. Bates says he was home alone at the time, but lives here with his fiance and two daughters. Why did you endanger my life? And, and I could have I lost my life the other day. I mean, they had a gun. My daughters could not have a father today, and he needs to be put in jail for as long as, you know, the judge feel he needs to be in there because it was wrong. Bates says the attack sent him to the hospital where doctors put 11 staples in his head. Then his phone rang. When I picked up, I was like, hello? Bates says the man who attacked him had called to apologize. And he's like, oh, just listen, 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 listen. Bro, I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. The guys were going to kill me. They had a gun to my back. Bates and his fiance say apology not accepted. I know you got daughters yourself, just like me. What if somebody came in there and did that to you? I don't take the apology because my fiance could have lost his life. No, I'll never forget May 15th. Now, the two other suspects in this case have not been caught, but Bates tells me he's confident the man in custody will turn both of those men in. At the Palm Beach County Jail, I'm Chris McGrath, WPBF 25 News.